Captain Disaster, Jack, has a million stopping words. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to another installation of Captain Disaster. The marshmallow brick fits snugly into the empty bottle. You know the drill. And this is another hindsight commentary because I am a I dork. don't know how to use these things together. I don't know how to use these things together. And apparently... I don't know how to use these things together. Apparently I have taken a look into the... Pl it slipped right in but it's very snug. It will be hard to remove. Apparently I have taken a look into the uh, walkthrough because now we're setting uh, grandma's uh, trunk uh, to be the magnetic field is uh, space ready. The magnetic field isn't picking up. And by the way, I'm clicking at things. I think the magnetic I think I'm describing how it is the not the most optimal the solution. The seal was, but it's not going to stay in place without something to hold it. We'll have to find a way to seal the bottle cap tightly. I'm not sure what the issue issue is here, but I think maybe I was I was uh, speaking how there wasn't much indication that you have to do anything with the latch. Probably, I'm viciously pointing at it, so I'm guessing that's what this is about. And I'm guessing that I tried. There might be, I might have had an issue that I tried to magnetize the bottle cap before I knew what it was for, and it didn't work, and now it will work, I think. I mean, I played this like a month ago, so I, I can't really be sure. The magnetic field isn't. I don't know how to use these things together. Oh, okay. So I had to slip the thingy the in. The bottle cap fits in the spot where the seal was, but it's not going to stay in place without something to hold it. I'll have to sacrifice the quad quarter, but it will work. The trunk is sealed well. Well, that does it. <laughs> Although I'd said B, can you ready the airlock on the escape pod? Sure thing, Captain. <laughs> Come in, Actuus One Ground Control. What is it now? Where's our contraband detector? Well, because we were having a little trouble <laughs> with our transporter, I came up with an alternate solution. Can you see a giant frozen marshmallow on your scanner? <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I can. Your contraband detector is in a space trunk attached to the marshmallow. Um, thank you. How nice. How so very convenient of you to place our government property into space attached to a giant frozen confection. <laughs> we'll commence with our retrieval right after we blow you out of orbit with an Exelon class missile. Gah! Big boom. Quickly! Engage the warp drive! Engage! Hi, Captain. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
Why? All the Proboscans speak English anyway. Approaching the planet now. You think you're on the transporter pad? Teleporting down. <laughs> How come it works now? Plot hole! And just like that, we are in a new exciting location. Oh, you've arrived. Excellent. Come again? It's mine. All <laughs> mine. Your account will be credited as soon as I review the contents. Where are you? I'm in the base, you fool. Are you going to come outside? <laughs> Nope. Okay, it's not. <laughs> Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stand in our way. Well, I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe I should get in there and find out what he's doing. So, naturally, since we're in a completely new location, I'm going to make a save. Clever girl. And uh, I have no intention to attempt to directly address whatever situation is going on. Instead, I'm gonna. I brought it from my cabin. I think it's a book on interior decorating. But I always thought there were more shades between off white and quite nearly black. <laughs> so, yeah, instead of uh, going straight to business, I am going to loiter and reconnoiter and uh, poke at everything and get to know the locals and what have you. Let's examine the base. There's a security pylon guarding the left side of the building. There's a security pylon. don't think I'll make it past that security pylon. So that it's a sign pointing the way to Stardust Coffee Shop. Dumpster. Let's check the dumpster first. Those little green ducks are almost everywhere. This is a rocky planet. Or it's probably a reference of some kind. I think I saw a dumpster behind the be. building. Aha! I knew it. Hey, there's something in here. It's some sort of device. Bam, baby! Now what? I think I am lecturing about the benefits of dumpsters. It's some sort of device. It <laughs> almost looks like you could play monochromatic yet hauntingly addictive games on this thing. Hey, neat! I'm invisible! <laughs> How would you know looks though? Like batteries have run out. Uh -oh. pretty old. These batteries are pretty old. <sighs> There's nothing more to say. I think I was missing my music career. There's nothing career. more to say. It's an ordinary counter with a small gap underneath. There's a small gap underneath the counter. I'm not sticking my hand under there. Who knows what atrocities lurk there? <laughs> it's a rack of pool cues. Take one. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do it while she's here. I don't want any witnesses. Ah. Except that guy. I'm not worried about that guy. <laughs> and the other guy? Probably failed his exams and joined art college. Looks like a hippie to me. So she looks like an ordinary waitress. get to know waitress. the locals. 
It's a small sign that describes the artwork. It says, Explosive Corrosion, an exploration of interrelationship, diversity and metaphysical conundrum, with a focus on humanitarian infrastructure, diaspora phenomena, coffee and charter. Heavy. <laughs> it looks like coffee stains on a sheet of paper. I already have a painting on my kitchen besides. It's way too heavy. Heavy. It looks like I already have a paint besides. It looks like I already have besides. It looks I already beside. It looks I already beside. It looks like I already beside. Yeah, I'm examining like all the paintings just for good measure. There's nothing more to see. It says Java lava. I wonder what that is. Sounds like my kind of coffee. It's an ordinary counter with this. I don't want to do anything with the counter. Oh. It's a shaker filled with some sort of powder. Hey, don't touch. Immediately. It's a bar importance of grandeur. <laughs> Hello, fine day today. Whatever. I'd like a cup of coffee, please. Meh. We don't sell coffee here. But this is a coffee shop. Surely, by definition, you sell coffee. <sighs> <laughs> we sell Java. Thank you very much. The word coffee doesn't even begin to capture its majesty. It's like this. We used to sell 819 different styles of bean product. Even one for people who wanted a cup of coffee. I like some <gasps> coffee with cream and sugar. Please. This is Starducks, not Duck and Donuts. So you used to sell a lot of different types of coffee. Uh, sorry, bean product? We even had one made from the regurgitated beans of the Putrilius Aurelius space monkey. But it had to go. It wasn't vegan. Now all we have is half calf stomaco, malato, penti latte with a double shot of deutanium. We call it Java Lava. Okay, could you get me a java lava, please? <sighs> Do you want a Yeechi, Venti, Trenta, Neoso, Grande, or Coloso? Uh, yes. One of those <laughs> would be splendid. Okay, a Venti then? Try not to die of stupid while I make it. So now we see that the barkeep shall be away at certain. Conditions. Wow, this really is hot stuff. Yes, it's military grade <laughs> explosive with added sugar. Isn't that rather dangerous? Not in the tiny doses applied to the Java. There have been no proven side effects. Well, goodbye, barkeep. A barista, <laughs> not a barkeep. Wow, you mean you're a lawyer as well? No, it's space Italian for I. Oh, never mind. Just go before I catch stupid from you. Well, wow, it's rather rude. <laughs> and I think Filled they immediately the with the great taste of Java and Utanium. Immediately get the idea that they should shove the batteries Greetings. into coffee. Hey, I mean man. Java. What's happening? Poor old man. What's the deal with the waitress? She delivers coffee, man. She's just a slave of the system like everyone else. I don't suppose you have a recharger pack for this battery? Sorry, man. That model's way out of date. I Far doubt out. You can even get rechargers for those things anymore. What do you know of the military complex next door? I hate military guys. They pursue war, not peace. The dude in charge is totally bogus, man. What are you doing? I'm making art, man. Making art? How? I use this lava and bicolati. 
The lava just melts through the Bechelati after a few seconds. The result oh, is this was a hint. Totally I didn't even realize. Bechelati? Did I say Bechelati? Oh, my brain is so fried, man. I meant Biscotti. Biscotti is space Italian for biscuit. They're little hard biscuits that come with a cup of java. Here, take one. <laughs> Bicciotti is a righteous dude I met on a forum. Totally hooked on Linux. Open source forever, man. Probably a cameo. What does your art mean? It represents the struggle between peace and war, love and hate. It looks like a series of coffee stains. Exactly, man. <laughs> it's amazing how you totally got it at a single glance. Are you a true appreciator of art? I did see a lot of paintings in a hotel on the dark side of the moon once. <laughs> Totally groovy, man. See you later, dude. Peace and love, man. Now that we have talked to everybody, we're gonna save. And at this point, I do not know yet how to get the waitress to move from her position. Hello. How you doing, hun? How can I help you? I'd like to place an order. I'd love to help, but I'm on call. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you mean by on call? I work exclusively for the general. When he wants a coffee, he sends a message to my communicator. Until then, I'm just waiting. Well, good luck to you. See you later. So we have gleaned the knowledge that uh, she does leave her post occasionally. I just don't know how to trigger it yet. Ah, oh, yes, he there stops. we go. I need to find the right mixture. So, uh, at this point, I'm not trying to blow anything up. I just thought that th I would recharge them like this. I mean, as one does. What I need to carry around a soggy bit of cake. Mm. Hello, fine day today. Whatever. What's the deal with the military dude in the base next door? Oh, he's incredible. Awesome, really. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. Total douche. Trying to take over the world or something. Well, goodbye, barkeep. Barista, barista. These batteries... Hey, don't touch. I don't know how to use. So I don't somehow want to do I have figured out that that I would I like to put some more of the mix stuff into the Java, and then I will. I would want to dip the batteries in it. These batteries. I just uh, haven't Few figured sparks. out all the moving parts the yet. Yeah, let's go elsewhere. So, we are going to examine the rocks. It's a large pile of rocks. Could there be something behind them? I could never move them. I could never move them. He looks like an archaeologist, complete with leather jacket, fedora and whip. If it weren't for the huge nose, he could easily be auditioning for the 93rd indie movie. <laughs> Hello there. Would you by any chance be an archaeologist? Why, yes, my good man. Yes, I would. <laughs> Tell me, what gave it away? Was it the hat, the fine leather jacket or the bull whip? Uh, all three, really. But we already know the answer to that, don't we? I don't we? suppose you got your archaeologist kit from Tino's shop and actually saw on. 
No, I've never been there. Aww. I got these from a green trader I met on Gamut 6 by the name of Ten-Eyed Tyro. Hmm, maybe there's a whole family of Ten-Eyed Traders out there. Possibly the result of a genetic accident long ago. What are you doing here? Research. The of ancient course. inhabitants of this region kept a secret store of power. Combining together a few basic chemicals would provide an electrical jolt that allowed them to ward off the unusually large creatures on this planet. I'm looking for more evidence, and I believe that the caverns behind this pile of rocks may hold the clue. What device is that you're using? It's an ancient scope. <laughs> it lets you see what an area or object looked like many years ago. Awesome! Anything interesting so far? Nothing astonishing. That's a shame. <laughs> Not really, old fruit. I'm getting paid by the hour after all. Could I borrow your ancient scope? Well, maybe if you could help me with a problem. What sort of problem? You see, I can't decide whether to paint my bedroom mm -hmm. on the spaceship Ocean Grey or Military Grey. I don't suppose you have a catalog or swatch or something to help me choose? What well, a coincidence! Let's see what I can do. If you can, I'll let you borrow my ancient scope. Well, I'd better be off then. Righty ho! I brought it from my cabin. I suppose I ought. Will this do? Wonderful! Splendid, my good boy! A whole book dedicated to two score and ten variations between <laughs> off white and quite nearly black. To be fair, I haven't got to that part yet. Even so, please take this ancient scope as a token of my appreciation. I insist. <laughs> but I must warn you, there is something wrong with the lens. I've been meaning to get it repaired, but time has not been my friend. You know, film auditions and all. <laughs> I best be off for today. Good luck, chap. Now, I think that during my playthrough I did not utilize the ancient scope quite enough because I think I only used it to uh, gaze at this one um, rock art thing in the caves. So, at some it's point. You're investigating ancient artifacts. At some point the storage just took off. I don't off. know how to use these things together. And I kept going, so... I don't know how to use these things together. I suspect there's there, there might be a that lot more... That won't work. A lot more that the Aegis can reveal. I don't know how to use reveal. these things together. I don't know how to use these things together. Oh, come on! We're investigating in. It's a large pile of rocks. Could there be something behind them? There's nothing more to see. Right then, let's let's get back to the other locations. I don't know how to Alright, I'm I going don't know to attempt to explore everything to with the ancient scope. I don't know how I don't know how to use. I think at this point I might have had the suspicion that uh, I could use it to sniff out the code. I don't know how to. Instead, I just had the very lucky try. If I hadn't tried this, I would have never learned how the waitress leaves her position. Interactable doodads, it seems. There's nothing more to see. Come on, you clicked it 
ones. Filter the broom with. They must be hiding something very large behind that wall. I don't know how to. Is a security pilot. philosophizing about the nature of codes and whatnot. Just cram jamming different numbers in there. Just because now what I don't know is <laughs> I'm about to get out of here! Uh oh! Uh oh! Why, hello there. Who's out here? You best not be trying to break into our base. Oh no. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that was close. Hello? Yes. Bring me another coffee. So, what I don't know is whether the bring me another coffee protocol will kick in if you don't mess with the door. Because if it doesn't, then that would be hella unfortunate. Now that she's gone, we are going to pout the stuff. Okay. Oh, she's coming back. Did it work the first time? Hey! Whoa! Okay, she's not quite back on the position yet, so... Hello! Fine day today? Whatever. Well, goodbye, barkeep. Barista, barista! Did it work the first time? I'll take that now, thank you. Meh. I always carry a spare. <laughs> I won't be needing this anymore. Aww. How nice of you. There's my communicator. Duty calls. Yes, sir. Another coffee? Right away, sir. One jar of lava, please. Don't spill it. Thank you. Yeah, so... Luckily, everything worked uh, out just fine the first time for me. I just don't know if the whole waitress leaves position also works if you don't go there and mess with the door, so yeah. Sir, your refreshments, sir. Ooh. Oh, thank you, my dear. Have a good day, sir. So if you don't go too close, then she just sort of ignores you. Which is good. At this point, I think I am about to declare the end of the episode because I'm describing all the marvelous things that I have gathered and discovered and found out. Hello? Yes. Bring and now I'm learning of the coffee bringing pattern. Sir, your refreshments, sir. Ah, oh, thank you, my dear. Have a good day, sir. And you as well. Thus ends the episode. Bye!